The average person, when they think of research, they're thinking of test tubes pouring in a laboratory. Our type of research is completely different than that. The people that we work with in the Cancer Control and Population Health Program come from all walks of life, from every location around the state throughout the metropolitan area of Kansas. To have a comprehensive cancer center, it's not enough to only have better treatments for cancer. We have to have a component of the program that helps to prevent cancer from happening in the first place, particularly reaching out to communities at risk of developing cancer in the future. Center for American Indian Community Health has several cancer-focused projects that are with the American Indian community. For instance, we have a quit smoking program. It's called the All Nations Breath of Life. It is the first of its kind. It's a culturally tailored smoking cessation program that respects traditional tobacco use while trying to decrease the rates of recreational tobacco use. Our research is unique because we try to create programs that speak to the heterogeneous population of American Indians. American Indians have a dual relationship with tobacco. Traditionally, it was used for ceremonial purposes. It was also used as a medicine to heal many things. But today, American Indians suffer from the largest rates of smoking of any other racial and ethnic group. They are dying from lung cancer at higher rates. And so in order to address those disparities, we need to respect traditional use of tobacco while trying to discourage recreational use. The work that I do is important to me because as an American Indian researcher and having family members who themselves have endured a lot of health issues, I know that the work that we do makes an impact. Seeing the benefits that people have reaped in our community really make me feel great about coming to work every day and the work that I do. Our KU Cancer Center has a unique program to improve screening rates among Latina women and prevent breast cancer. In this unique program, it's uh, brought to us as a partnership between the American Cancer Society and the National Football League. My research focus is on cancer-related disparities with a specific emphasis on aspects that impact the Latino community in the state of Kansas. For example, Latinos have lower access to preventive efforts, and Latinos tend to have a later diagnosis of different cancers. And we have different educational research projects to overcome these uh, worse outcomes. We are embedded in the community throughout the development of this community outreach program within the Cancer Center. So in the past year, we have reached more than 4,000 Latinos throughout our community outreach programs. And not only reached, but implemented educational efforts as well as implement the recruitment of Latinos within our trials. We really have set the stage of something that's culturally appropriate, that's very well in alliance with what the community needs, how the community perceives the medical center, how the community wants to be approached on cancer-related topics. The Midwest Cancer Alliance is the outreach arm of the University of Kansas Cancer Center. It consists of hospitals from across the region. Alliance members receive a variety of services through the Midwest Cancer Alliance. Physicians are able to enroll patients on clinical trials right there in their home institutions. They're able to collaborate on cancer screenings and participate in professional education opportunities using the televideo system. Kansas is largely a rural state and to meet the needs of our rural state, we need to be able to get out to those folks that need the help. Telemedicine provides that tool to be able to outreach to rural areas in a way that a physical presence cannot. We're able to provide a high level of expertise 
to rural communities in a very efficient manner that really makes a difference. Stormont Vale is a Partner Advisory Board member of the Midwest Cancer Alliance. As a Partner Advisory Board member, they're dedicating significant resources toward cancer research that includes population health research that could be in the community all the way to clinical settings. The University of Kansas has a very unique role as a cancer center. We have a responsibility to address the needs of our communities, and in working with those communities, the diverse nature of Kansas makes it a valuable contributor to science for cancer control as a whole. I'm really excited to be able to make a difference here in Kansas as it relates to cancer control. And I'm equally excited to be able to have an impact in advancing the science of cancer control throughout the country.